Good morning, I'm Lynn. It's early morning here at Utopia Farms and we're heading to Carlton Place and that's where wool growers is. So we're gonna drop off a whole trailer full of wool here and then we're gonna meet Knockout. He's gonna meet us at wool growers. So let's get started. So we're about 15 minutes from home right now. We're at a gas station across from this restaurant here on the highway. That's where we go for our breakfast all the time. It's a really good place. For those who are interested, that's what gas costs in Canada. That's Canadian dollars. And that's per liter. We've got the trailer full of our wool bags. So we've got pretty well all of them on there. And Arnie was out of gas, so we just thought we'd pop in here and fill up before we head right on our way. What kind of fuel is it? It's yeah. dirty fuel. <laughs> Diesel. Diesel. Oh, she's going to end. $130. Okay, we are running a little early, so we're taking our time getting to Carrollton Place. So we decided since we hadn't had breakfast, we'd stop in the next town, which is Smith's Falls. And we're going to Mickey D's for an Egg McMuffin. Arnie's, Arnie's up being a big spender today. <laughs> so, at McDonald's, they have them all over the world, but each country has specialized burgers, I think. And in Canada, probably most people didn't know that we have moose meat burgers at McDonald's. I was just telling everybody how at McDonald's they're around the world but in each country they have a specialized burger and I told them that here we have the moose meat burgers in Canada at McDonald's. Do we? <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> moose. Okay, we're here at Wool Growers. And he's got to back into this little place here without hitting any cars. Oh, okay, we're in. And it looks like they got a lot of wool in here. Last time we were in here, it was pretty empty. Right now, she's full. I heard they're having a hard time finding markets for all this wool. To the rafters, eh? I haven't seen you here for a while. No. <laughs> They're on break, so we're just gonna go into the 
store and see what they have in here. I'm in the store and I guess you can hear what's in here. Hi. I was just going to film the chicks. <laughs> we got boxes of chicks in here. Yes. <laughs> it just sounds so cute when you come in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We'll open it for too long just because they What kind are they? Off. These are meat birds. Meat birds. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What kind are they? Meat, meat birds. birds. White rocks mostly. White rocks. They're all the same? Yeah. Mostly. Yeah. We've got some turkeys in here as well, but What are the, which ones are the turkeys? I don't know. Oh. And they're all mixed <laughs> in. All the wolf floated. It's all out here. And now we're hey, going to be rich. Here before? <laughs> That's right, you've seen us. We're just going to move the truck out now and get it parked. And we're just waiting. And hopefully Arnie checks his blind spot because there's kids on bikes coming. Here comes our ram. Oh, wait, we got a ram at the classic. Oh. They're here, it looks like. Okay, they're here. We have met a few people that we know here just a second ago, so it's been a lot of chatting here. Oh. Don't want anyone to come out by mistake. Where is he? Oh, he's up the front. Okay. There he is. Whoop. Don't let him, don't lose him. There he is. Come on. That's always scary. Daddy, it's okay. You look really nice. He's rolling his lips. Hi. You're a knockout. Yeah, you're very pretty. Sorry, you had a long journey. Yeah, you're beautiful. You're really, really nice. Apparently he was fighting on the trailer with the others. Hi, sweethearts. Hi. Yeah, you're going home now. Only a few more hours. That's the uh, $5,000 Ram Lamb, and that's a Dorset that someone bought. He is a really nice Ram. Now we're just getting some water for the Rams, because they all are out of water. They're so pretty. We're going to go now. Sorry. Apparently they were fighting in the, the trailer on the way here really badly. Got a videotape and two for my YouTube. <laughs> do, do your, uh, no. You're an active YouTuber, I know that. That's right. People like to see every little bit, right? So we're home and Arnie's gone to get them. We're going to get them off here and get him some water and food right away and then uh, we're gonna have a little chat with someone from Grober Nutrition here <laughs> who's gonna be having a tour here in November right hi sweetheart Oh, he's got good legs on him. What's that? Good, good legs. Uh, front seat. I, hey, hey, but I scratched his front seat a little bit. Here, bud, here. Well, I'm thinking he's up on those toes, honey. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, I'm thinking he's pretty good on his feet, Arnie. He's really nice. Good boy. Gave him some water, he's extremely thirsty. Poor guy, I'm just gonna get him some salt and mineral now. All the others are right across, but separate. Well, he's eating, and he's already drunk a whole pail of water. 
So I'm just gonna get them some more. And we've got them separate, but he can see all the other boys. And uh, he can eat some of that. And I'm just gonna fill up his water and we're gonna let him relax a little bit. Hi, you're really nice. You're a nice boy. Just giving Knockout some bedding. Seems to be pretty calm. And it's nice and cool in this barn. We're doing morning chores in the afternoon. Hi! You look lovely. Because we were away, as you know. Is it nice in here? There's rumor that we're going to have rain tomorrow. Hi, Tinny. Hi, sweetheart. Here he is, knockout. <laughs> You don't want to come on a porch, do you? You're a handsome man. He's right on his tippy toes, aren't he? Oh, buddy, you're you're very he he uh what's his name? Oh yeah, he's standing good, really good there. But Warren said that he didn't like to be held and stand, so he's standing pretty good on him. You're a really, really handsome boy, so... Um, yeah, the, the only thing I would say on him is his ears are too short, but at least they're flicked. But, but, it, but, but he's, the right, he's definitely the right size. He's not too tall, not too short... Most of the ewes have really good ears. So yeah. We'll, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm not worried about the ears. <laughs> and at least they're the right shape. But uh, I would make him longer, but he's very handsome. Rams do tend to have shorter ears. Oh, you're a handsome boy. You're really handsome. Don't let him eat anything mucky. What? Stay there, guys. Hi. Uh, he's a perfect right size. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I wouldn't want him any bigger. And I wouldn't want him any smaller uh, either. I'd say, I'd say he's very handsome and he's nicely built. No, he may not be used to dogs, for all we know. He might have a little dip under the shoulder there. He might have a little dip. Yeah, no. Not, not overly. Uh, he stands really nice. You're a handsome boy. Is he hung? Will he eat any of the, that grass? Give, give him some clovers. Do you want a clover? There you go. Do you like a clover? He doesn't like the halter, but. Well, he's he's from Alberta, but he's uh this this is a working from a, a working farm. I think he said he came out of a group of fifty rams, so he should fit in perfect here. 
Did he drink his water and stuff? Oh, you're a nice boy. He has to be learned to be pet because Warren said he wasn't a pet. I thought when I thought when you rang the doorbell, I thought that noise noise was you being silly. So I was ignoring you. Oh, he's eating. And he's a uh, he he's a May lamb, so he's only just a year. He was born in May, and he's a twin. And he's our our. Yep. That's what Warren said. He said he just pulled him out of the pen and he wasn't too keen about being handheld, but he's actually standing really good, except for one leg. Yeah. There. Max, get away. He doesn't like you there. Well, as Buddy sits here watching smart TV, we're going to call that a day. I hope you enjoyed meeting our new ram. If you did, please give us a like and send us a comment. Tell your friends about us. And be sure to join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Say goodnight, buddy. Are you spoiled now? <laughs> Bye for now.